I had the privilege of reviewing the Raspad 1 which used the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspad 3 which used the Raspberry Pi 4. I didn't review the Raspad 2 because it didn't exist. I pretty much loved everything about the Raspad 3 except the fan. It was crazy loud. I've always thought this thing would be way better suited as some sort of in-wall control panel or kiosk. So that's what I'm doing. This will let me take advantage of the awesome touchscreen and operating system while ditching the fan. Major props goes out to my friend John. When we were trying to figure out how to countersink this thing, he decided to use the photo off the Amazon listing as a template and it fit perfectly. It was pretty amazing. So in this video, I'll show you how I modified the tablet and in a future video, we'll tackle the software. So I've got the rasp pad mounted in the actual bezel here for it and I've got these four buttons. It's actually kind of a funny story with the four buttons. Uh, the program we were using didn't do a very good job of distributing them so I just decided it'd be easier to have four even though I really only need three. So I'm going to do something else with the fourth button eventually. Uh, but if you look at the rasp pad here we've got this little thingy over here. Now I don't particularly care um, if I mess these up, but I need to get in here to these switches. And so as you go to the back right here, which is a little tight to this SD card thing over here, but you've got your power, your um, your volume, and uh, what are the brightness things. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be people online saying, oh, look, he glued that in there. But um, I used Gorilla Glue, and it actually, um, you know, it'll rip this wood before stuff comes off it so it's not going anywhere it will come clean with um with rubbing alcohol if i need to get it off but this is extremely well stuck on here and if i don't feel like it is when all said and done i can go around and seal it a little bit more but it is uh very well stuck so basically what i need to do is get in here and get to these little contacts and they are tiny okay so it's not my neatest job ever but it is uh it's on there it's it's on there pretty good so I'm feeling decent about this one and the next one. Now, this one over here on the other side of this connector is going to suck. Um, but we're going to try it and see what happens. One thing I did forget to mention is that I'm using uh, what they call silver bearing solder. It's uh, 62362. And uh, it is a particularly strong solder. It's what I use when I'm repairing laptop power jacks. You know, they take a lot of abuse when you plug in the barrel jack. Um, it's the super thin solder that I use for repairing those that's made to stand up to a little bit of abuse so hopefully once I get this working I'll put some glue down there and get that thing stuck so that the electrical connection has a nice backup uh, with a mechanical connection but we'll see so there you have it not necessarily my proudest moment of soldering but it is connected and the connections seem solid I can't really say enough good things about that silver bearing solder uh, just really good stuff for making sure this stuff is really stuck. Um, so we're going to see if it all works. And if it does, we'll glue it down and call it a day. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I've got these uh, soldered on. They feel solid. I've got these three buttons soldered on. So what I need to do is to test to see if this whole thing works. And if it does, then I need to make sure these wires don't ever move again, ideally. Um, again, solid core. So uh, then I've been thinking about it. I'm probably going to pull this battery pack out. Um, if this was a server, I would sort of use this as a UPS, but it's not. And the um, whole thing is already on its own UPS. So it's not really mission critical for me to keep this thing going. And I'd rather pull this out than have a lithium battery charging in my wall at all times. So I'm going to get this set up and I'm going to put in the SD card, which is right here. This has the Raspad OS on it, which is one of the best things about this thing. I did put just a couple of zip ties here to keep the wires in place. As I said, I'm going to glue the zip ties down, just trying to keep the stress off of these wires here. Uh, I did decide to pull the battery out so that I don't have this 3 18650 cell thing sitting in my wall. Uh, other than that, I think we're ready to rip. I think the thing looks pretty good in the wall and uh, you can use the button to boot it up and it will boot into the awesome Raspad OS touchpad centric operating system and yeah so we've got a linux tablet in the wall that we can do some cool stuff with 
As this is part of my open source desk project, I have all the laser cutting files in a link in the description. There are also links in the description to the different products I used. Really encourage you guys to use those links. They really help the channel. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.